Good afternoon. Good evening, everybody. I want to thank you for taking the time to watch this presentation by Railbookers of five of the best countries in Europe to experience by train. My name is Kyle Smith and I am your host today. Uh, this is going to be a fantastic presentation. I'm the business development manager for Rail Bookers US and I'm uh, looking forward to spending some time with you this evening or this afternoon, wherever you are. Thank you for plugging in. I'm just going to linger for a minute while uh, we still have some folks still signing on. And I'd like to take this opportunity to do a quick mic check to make sure that I'm coming in loud and clear. So if you can hear me and see my screen, please go into the question box and give me a yes or a no. That would be great. Uh, not experiencing any challenges. So that is good. Thank you. Some of you guys are starting to respond to that. I appreciate that. Phen phenomenal. Very good. Well, again, thank you for taking the time to be with us here this evening. And uh, before we get started, a couple of handouts I'd like to, for you to have. If you go into the handouts section there, you can download uh, those helpful handouts. You'll find a European rail network map. Uh, that'll be the, uh, the number one flyer for you in there and many others uh, to help you as we continue along here. Now, since I am doing this webinar live, if you have any questions at any time, put those into the question box and I'll be more than happy to provide you an answer at the end of the presentation. So today, what we will be covering is a lot of different information and uh, we'll be cr learning how to cross off the bucket list destinations and how to do all of that by rail is one of our key points today. I will discuss with you the limited time offers uh, to save for your next dream vacation, whether it be this year or next year. We'll be uh, t discussing how to book with confidence with our maximum flexibility offer. Uh, we'll be learning about how the European trains are maintaining a safe environment for its passengers, as well as the, the heart of the message, the five of the best countries to see by rail. And so again, thank you for taking the time this evening, I'd just like to go ahead and give you guys a little background exactly who we are. And so uh, Rail Boogers is a part of the Yankee Leisure Group Incorporated, which is a privately held independent tour operator for rail. And we specialize in worldwide rail vacations. And we do that through a number of a couple of different brands. The first one would be Amtrak Vacations, our domestic brand. So our organization is the official tour operator for Amtrak. And uh, so uh, Amtrak Vacations is based in our Boston office and they specialize in national parks by rail and some of our major metropolitan cities. If any of you are considering uh, any US travel sometime this year or next, a national park uh, is a wonderful destination to consider, and Amtrak runs a lot of services to our great national parks. Now, Yankee Holidays goes back to 1972. It's our original brand. I'm not going to spend a whole lot of time on this. Uh, it's basically really a brand uh, that travel agents would recognize, uh, not the general public. But of course, our international brand is Rail Bookers, and we specialize in um, independent train vacations all over the world. So not, ju not just here in North America, but we do uh, Asia, we do Europe, uh, Australia, as well as South Africa. So if the train goes there, then so do we. Now, if you'd like to order yourself a brochure, you can do that online at the respective websites, AmtrakVacations.com and RailBookers.com. So moving on here, uh, sorry, my screen, my screen froze, there we go. So why travelers love rail bookers? Well, uh, for starters, you can book everything with us up to 24 months in advance. And uh, given the COVID situation that we're in right now, booking as far enough in advance as you can is definitely an asset. And uh, we're able to do all of that for you. And with us, you can fulfill your bucket list experiences. Perhaps you're looking to do the Venice Simplon Orient Express across Europe, or you'd like to see the Swiss Alps on the Glacier Express, or uh, here in North America, if you're looking to take you know, the Amtrak to our national parks or the Rocky Mountaineer in the Canadian Rockies, we can fulfill those bucket list destinations. You'll have plenty of freedom and flexibility as you'll discover. It's the scenic way to travel. You can deposit now, you can pay later, you can choose your own accommodations and much more. Now, one thing you're going to receive is 24-hour support from our global offices. So we are located here in California, 
Massachusetts, Toronto, London, and Sydney, Australia. Our team is here to assist you with anything you would need. So if you're traveling abroad with us sometime next year, we're always available to you around the clock. Now, right now, this is our maximum flexibility offer uh, for everyone who is willing and wanting to travel. Uh, obviously, we all understand the situation we're faced with, uh, with the COVID uh, coronavirus situation, and we know it's evolving and changing daily. So uh, a few months ago, we came up with this maximum flexibility policy to put you at ease. And, uh, you know, we've talked to hundreds and thousands of our customers about uh, you know moving their, their travel dates down a few months or even well into next year, uh, you have that opportunity with us. So for any new or existing reservations, you can cancel or fully reschedule at any time up until five days prior to departure and you will not take on any change or cancellation fees. So it's a really flexible policy. Uh, everyone, you know, we're all a little unsure of how this virus is gonna play out and how this is gonna look in the fall and, and potentially leading into 2021, although we hope that is not the case. But uh, it is a flexible policy, so it's, it's very helpful. Now, one thing we do is we take the mystery out of rail travel. Now, clearly all of you here tonight or this afternoon know what a train is. You've probably been on one at some point or another, but very few people understand the logistics of train travel outside of a 100 mile radius outside of their home. It's, it's foreign to most people. Most people just usually do not understand it. And so I'd like to ask a, a little trivia question. Uh, and here's my context. If, um, if I were to ask you how long it would take to fly from New York City to Los Angeles on an airplane, what would, um, how long that would take each way, what a round trip ticket would cost, you could probably think for a second and figure it out because we've, you've been on airlines and airplanes your whole lives. So it's, it's easy to come together. But if I were to ask you, how long would it take to take the Amtrak from New York City to Los Angeles, how long that would take, and what would a round trip ticket cost? Most people don't have any idea. In fact, uh, during my earlier webinar, a member, uh, someone signed on and said they didn't even realize the Amtrak went across country. So does anybody want to uh, guess at how long it would take to take the train from New York City to Los Angeles? Uh, round trip. Any, anyone want to take a guess at that? Go right ahead. Just go right into the question box there and uh, you can submit your answer. I'm getting a few responses now. Five days, uh, two and a half days. Very good. Three days. Okay. A week and a half. Yep. So a little bit of everything. Nobody just really, really knows. Well, it's uh, going to be four days, three nights across country each way. So New York to LA, three nights on board a train. You would go from New York City to Chicago, change trains, and head out into Los Angeles on the Southwest Chiefs. So basically from East Coast to West Coast in either direction, you're looking at a three-night journey. And uh, most people don't realize that. Some people don't even realize the Amtrak uh, goes across country when in fact it goes to 48 out of the 50 states, just to uh, kind of give you a little bit of a context here. So in Europe, you can imagine uh, the difficulties of understanding European rail. You know, the questions we get from travel, from travel agents, from general public are, um, you know, where do the trains go? Where do they connect? How do I get from London to Paris, to Venice, to Rome, to, you know, Germany, whatever the case may be? Um, we get people that have these really ideal, intense itineraries, and they want to do it by rail because everyone knows in Europe overall that traveling by train is a preferred way to go. But how does it all come together? That's where we come in with our rail expertise. We'll lay out the, pl the plan for you. We'll tell you where the trains go, where do they connect, how long it will take, all the different accommodations, what the pricing will be, will make that really easy for you. Now, this is one of the maps I have for you in the free handouts. I would encourage you to download that so you can you know, study that a bit more clearly. Uh, but just to dissect this a little bit, every country in Europe here uh, pretty much has its own high-speed rail service that goes not only in-country, but international, making it all that, that much more difficult. At least in the US, we only have one national train service, the Amtrak. In Canada, same thing, the Via Rail. But in Europe, you've got multiple countries with multiple rail lines. That would be like our 50 states here in the US. Each state is its own country that has its own train service that goes into other uh, different countries. It's very challenging to figure out. Let us simplify it for you. Uh, you can work with us directly, or you can go right through your local travel agent who will assist you in the same thing. 
Now, what makes us rail experts is our direct partnerships with all the European rail operators, uh, not just in Europe, but also worldwide. So for example, uh, we're able to book all European rails 24 months in advance, two years, starting from any time. We can book in a two year period. Now, if you know anything about the trains abroad, uh, if you tried to shop them for, let's say you're looking at a train ride from Venice to, to Rome to, I don't know, let's say back up to Germany for the month of November of this year, you're not gonna be able to view those fares and schedules right now because they are not available to the public until about 30 to 40 days before departure. So rail is actually gonna be the very last thing you're gonna be able to book. But if you come through us, it'll be the very first thing we can book because we have a full unlimited access to the schedules as well as the fares. Now, given the pandemic we're faced with, booking out in advance is a real big asset, like I mentioned earlier. So we have customers right now that are booking today, you know, this week, for example, for traveling in 2021 and all the rail, their hotels, their tours is all established and confirmed, just pending travel now. So you can have that same luxury. Now, how are the European rail operators maintaining a safe environment? This is the key question. As you can read the list here, it's all very straightforward. The train stations and on board the train passengers and staff are required to wear facial coverings. Uh, the trains have temporarily stopped the sale of food and drinks on board. They've changed the seating configuration to allow for social distancing. So they're booking the trains at about a 50% capacity. Every other row, they're staggering it a bit so you can maintain a safe distance. And uh, they've increased the cleaning and sanitation. And in most cases, they've gone contactless so that you actually can't pay with cash for anything. It's all through credit cards. And with the tickets, you've got to have an app which is really easy to download to get your tickets with the barcode. They can scan it from a distance. It's all very straightforward. And their policies are ongoing. They'll, they'll continue to evolve, uh, dependent, of course, the spread of the virus and what the solutions are going to look like. But if you were to travel on a train within the next six months, this is what you can experience. Now, what does rail bookers offer? Well, we're a rail vacation tour company. So we're going to our packages will include the following. Your, obviously your train travel, the logistics of it. We include sightseeing activities. So whether you wanna see the, uh, you know, the uh, Doge's Golden Basilia in Venice, or you wanna go out to uh, the D-Day Memorial in uh, Normandy, whatever the case may be, we include your activities. Your hotel accommodations are included. Ferries, if necessary. Maybe you're looking to go from Holyhead over to Dublin to check out Ireland. Uh, that'll be by ferry. We can include that as well. Additional excursions. If you're doing one of our standard packages and you'd like to have a custom uh, tour, let us know. We can make that happen. And we can also include any overnight rail journeys worldwide. Now, what does it mean to customize a trip? Now, so I wanted to share you show you this slide before I got into the different countries and packages. So everything I'm going to be showing you today can be completely customizable. You can add on any destination. We can make it a round trip journey, or you can book the package in reverse order. So our packages were created by our product team based upon where all of our customers were looking to go. A package is an idea. Like I said before, rail, most people don't understand where to go. Most people don't have a real sense of Europe in terms of which countries are next to each other and you know, like we do our very own country. So a package kind of brings it all together for you so you can logistically see how it would work, but you can make it your own by all through all these different examples. You can upgrade to first class, we can add sightseeing tours, or you can upgrade to private tours. It's totally up to you. Now with hotels, we offer a full range between three, four, and five star options. Uh, the hotels are located within city center in all destinations that we carry. So you're not gonna be arriving into a train in the downtown and then have to stay 15 miles outside of the city. We don't do any of that. You stay right within the town center and uh, between one to three miles away between a rail station and your hotel. So you're, 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 it's convenient. You know, we had you in mind. Uh, would we want to travel way out of our way to get to a hotel? No, we want to be in the heart of the action. And that's exactly where you will be. 
Now, this is our full booking window, two days to two years. That's how quickly we can put you on a, a destination of ours, or we can book you well into the future. You know, we've had a lot of customers reach out to us, just itching to get out of their homes and go somewhere uh, once they feel it's safe. And so from the moment you pay for your trip, we can have you on your next dream vacation within 48 hours, or we can book well into the future, two years in advance. It's totally up to you. Now with rail travel, here's what you need to know. So I'm gonna generalize a lot of this information because I don't know what it is you're looking to gain out of today's presentation. So I'm gonna generalize a lot of this, so bear with me. But when it comes to train travel in Europe, it is a preferred method of transportation for a couple of reasons. Number one, the trains are affordable, they're efficient, and they're almost always on time. Uh, there isn't anything else like it. So what I mean by this, the efficiency, is you can uh, go a long ways in a single day in Europe on a high-speed rail. Uh, my first trip abroad was back in 2017. I took the train from London to Paris to Geneva, Switzerland, and then into Venice, Italy. And uh, I went from London to Geneva in a single day. That's hundreds of miles. But again, these trains operate at a high rate of speed, 185 miles per hour on average. So they're considered bullet trains, and you can go a very long distance. Most people don't realize that. There are a few overnight rail journeys in Europe. The, uh, the luxury rails, for example, the VSOE, the Venice Simplon Orient Express would be one example. Now, when it comes to train travel, it is a preferred method of transportation because uh, especially out of the major cities, you have literally hundreds of departures per day. And uh, so here's an example from London to Paris on the Eurostar, very, very well-known rail route in Europe you go underneath the English Channel right into Paris in two and a half hours coming out of London. And they those trains start at 6 a.m. and they go until pretty much 11 o'clock at night. So we have many, many departures per day, making it convenient for you. You can arrive at a train station 45 to 30 minutes before departure, and you will not have any trouble getting through security and, ch and, and the check-in process. It's clean and efficient. And, uh, and also with um, rail travel as well, the, the trains are not going to nickel and dime you to bring your luggage on the trains. You know, I know with the airlines, as, as necessary as they are, they nickel and dime you along the way. And to prove my point, um, a couple of years ago, going to a conference, I flew on Spirit Airlines. I just did not enjoy it. And I usually don't mention company names in a broadcast like this, but I, um, you know, on board that it was a very cheap ticket, and I was quite impressed and proud of myself just to realize I was going to be nickel and dimed along the way. It was a very disheartening uh, thing to learn, but it is what it is. And I thought to myself, boy, I mean, yeah, you're, you're paying, you, you get an affordable ticket, but you're making up the difference when you're paying for your luggage and for your water on uh, food. I mean, it's, it's, uh, it was nuts. But when you travel on the trains, they don't nickel and dime you. You can, uh, you, it's a part of your reservation. You can bring on your luggage and uh, you're not gonna be hassled with that. So that's good to know as well. Now, when it comes to the trains, you can book all standard as well as first class accommodations with us. So whatever class of service the train you want uh, offers, we can book all of that for you. Uh, so most of our packages come with first class seats. A Couple of reasons for that. Number one, it's gonna enhance the quality of your train travel. Number two, Usually the price difference between standard and, and uh, first class is really not that much. And you get so much more amenities. Usually your food is included, uh, complimentary newspapers, coffee, snacks, uh, even, a, even uh, iPads in some cases, like on the Glacier Express, you get a lot more amenities. So we'll naturally uh, put those on, on a package that you're considering. So that's a lot of general information about rail. My, what I would get you, try to get you to take away it's affordable, it's convenient, and they're almost always on time. Those trains leave exactly when they say they do, and that's the benefit about it. So moving forward, we know because we go. So real quickly, each year our team members, we go across the globe and uh, we experience um, you know, the top selling destinations up close and personal so we can give you that rail expertise. Now, why take the train? Well, uh, while there's certainly nothing wrong with motor coach travel, the world has changed and uh, social distancing is very important. You've always been able to do that on a train. You can uh, sit very comfortably, meals are included, and you get to sit back and watch the world go by. 
So with all of that said and done, I'd like to go ahead and take you through the five different countries that are really popular when it comes to rail travel. And the first country is gonna be our top destination, Italy. Now, uh, I do have a package that I'm gonna take you through, and that is called our Grand Venice, Florence, and Rome. I call this the Trinity of Italy. And uh, our standard package here comes with two nights in each city with the Trenitalia train all the way in between the different destinations. So uh, Venice is the starting point for this particular package, but with customization, we have this exact package starting in Rome, heading into Venice. Uh, so the other way around here. So two nights in Venice, and our package here will come with first class rail service, a walking tour of the Doge's Palace, as well as the gondola ride in Venice. Uh, down in Florence, you'll have the Skip the Line tour of the Uffizi Art Gallery, as well as a city tour. And in Rome, we do the Skip the Line tours for Ancient Rome, the Colosseum, the Vatican, and the Sistine Chapel. So pretty much everything you could imagine you would want to see in these great three cities is all included in this particular package. So in Venice, the gondola ride, a lot of fun here. Very romantic, as uh, Venice is one of the most romantic cities in the world. Uh, there's really nothing quite like sitting on this gondola ride with your spouse uh, or with family, uh, traveling in between the different buildings. It's a lot of fun. And then, of course, over in Florence, you have the uh, Uffizi Art Gallery there. In the uh, bottom left, you're looking at the ancient ruins of the Rome, uh, ancient ruins of Rome. And then on the bottom right, that's a small group tour of the Vatican museums they give you headsets and uh, we include a skip the line tour so you can see that up close and personal and save a lot of time now traveling through italy this will all be done on the trenitalia of course italy's high-speed rail service and you're looking at the first class accommodations here so it's all pretty straightforward comfortable seating plenty of room to bring your your luggage you'll notice the storage overhead your seat here and then you can't quite see it, but in the back here, uh, there are racks to, to store larger you know, luggage items, things like that, that you have access to while you're traveling. On board, you have the ability to purchase meals, or you can simply bring food onto the train and uh, watch the world go by as you go from one destination to the next. Now, a second package I want to share with you for Italy is our Venice and the Bernina Express. This is a great six-day package that starts in Zurich uh, with a one-night stay. So we, uh, a lot of our customers last year that did this package also um, were traveling, doing a river cruise of some kind, uh, usually from Amsterdam into Basel along the Rhine River. So this is a great little itinerary as a post-river cruise itinerary, if that's something uh, that you're looking to do. A lot of our passengers uh, last year were doing a, either a river or an ocean cruise and wanted to do some pre and post travel. So this is a great idea for that. And uh, so you'll spend a night in Zurich and uh, we'll include a hop on hop off tour so you can get around the big city. And then of course you'll take the, uh, the Swiss rail uh, over into core and there you'll board the Bernina Express to head down in, through the Swiss Alps into Toronto, which is just across the border. And then the Trenitalia is gonna take you to Milan for a night, and then you'll rail over to Venice for three nights. So there's some photos there of uh, Zurich in the top left, very popular Swiss city, of course. You'll have the Bernina Express going through the Swiss Alps through Eastern Switzerland. Bottom left, uh, that's a photo of the uh, main corridor of Milan, which is a really great place to roam around, especially at night. And then of course you have Venice over there and you're looking at the Golden Basilia near the St. Mark's Square. And uh, that's where you will spend three nights uh, doing the gondola ride and many other things. Now, before I continue along here, keep in mind our packages are all independent travel. So you're not on an official escorted tour. You don't have a tour guide, you're your own tour guide, in other words. Uh, so what that means is when you arrive into, into town on the train, you'll have to make your way to your hotel, and then, of course, getting to all the tours. But we make that real easy. All the documentation we provide gives you local phone numbers and address, and of course, you can utilize the hotel concierge. They can handle transportation for you, uh, as this is considered independent travel. 
Now, the next destination up close is going to be Switzerland. Great, uh, probably one of the more popular countries to see by rail, as Switzerland has many luxury trains to choose from, as well as very popular day trips. And uh, one of our most popular packages is the Scenic Switzerland from Zurich. This is a great nine-day itinerary, and this is a see-it-all in Switzerland. And uh, having done this a few years ago, I, I would love to go back to Switzerland, but I don't actually need to, as I got to see a lot of these great towns up close and personal. So on this particular package, the journey begins in Zurich with your first hotel stopovers in St. Moritz to do the Bernina Express. Then you take the Glacier Express over to Zermatt and then up to Lausanne, and then over into Lucerne, and back into Zurich. So you do practically a, gold, a golden circle here of the entire country. So along this package uh, and traveling through Switzerland, you're gonna see a lot of great destinations. You're gonna see Lucerne, home to the world's oldest wooden bridge, photo there in the top left. Zermatt, which was my absolute favorite town with the Matterhorn in the background there, you can see. Uh, Bottom left, you're looking at St. Moritz, which is a great mountaintop uh, getaway destination. And then over in the bottom right, you have the great city of Cor, uh, known for its museums, its ancient architecture, and their coliseums. So a lot to see there as well. And then, of course, uh, the real highlight is all the luxury rail that you're going to be able to do in Switzerland, the first of which would be the Bernina Express. So here it is up close and personal. Uh, the Bernina Express is a unique train ride. First of all, it's bright fire engine red, so you can't miss it when you're at a train station. And you're looking at the first class accommodations here, where you can see out both sides of the train, and you have the ability to purchase some basic food and beverage while on board the train. And uh, what I loved about the itinerary and the route is that there's, it's filled with bridges and tunnels, as you can see in the top left. And as the train makes its way into a bridge, you can see the whole body of the train slow to make its turn. So you can catch those great photos if you'd like. And uh, it, it's just a beautiful scenery. You've got the snow-capped mountains. You've got the crystal clear, glimmering lakes and waterfalls. And uh, you're definitely going to be in the remote parts of the mountain terrain. So you see the country in a way you cannot see if you're driving. The next luxury train to experience in Switzerland is the Glacier Express. And this train will take you through the heart of the Swiss Alps from St. Moritz all the way across country to Zermatt. And that takes about eight hours. Now the highlight of this is the Swiss Alps, of course. And uh, you're looking at the first class accommodations in the bottom left with the panoramic windows. So you can see out both sides of the train. You have the ability to sit across from your travel companions and everything is all inclusive in first class, including your meals. And uh, I know when I was on the train, I had, I think a, a pot roast soup and salad with a cappuccino and a glass of wine. It was quite the meal. And uh, the food is, is made fresh, it's gourmet quality. And the Glacier Express can accommodate most nutritional needs. And of course, uh, but that's not all. You're free to roam the train. You don't have to sit in your seat the whole time. You can get up and head over to a, to a snack car if you'd like and just sort of stretch your legs. And that is the beauty of train travel. You're not stuck in your seat the whole time. Now, when you're traveling on the scenic Zurich package with us, you're also going to do some very popular day trips the Gornigrat and the Jungfrau Cog Railway Adventures. So over on the left here, you're looking at Zermatt, which is home to the world famous Matterhorn. And uh, now Zermatt was absolutely my favorite town in Switzerland. It's 100% pollution free. The only way to get into the city is by rail or by helicopter. And so uh, it's a great town to walk around in. It's, it's not that large, so you really don't need more than a night or two to check out this great city. But you get on board this cog railway, they head up the mountain side of the mountain and heading up um, to the top of the mountain to check out the Matterhorn up close and personal. So that's a day trip. And uh, the trains depart out of Zermatt every 30, 45 minutes. And you can jump on anyone you'd like. The next one you'll do is the Jungfrau Railway over on the right to go up to Jungfrau Jacques, the highest elevated point in Switzerland. And there you'll have a beautiful... Uh, 360 degree views of the top of Europe. And of course, the scenery is absolutely breathtaking as you ascend and descend the steep mountain. 
Now, one of my personal favorite day trips was Mount Pilatus outside of Lucerne. And uh, so when, you, uh, when you're visiting Lucerne, you're gonna be on this ferry boat that's, that you can see in the top right. You're gonna travel about 40 minutes out of your way uh, to get to the base of the mountain. And then you'll get on a cog railway to ascend Mount Pilatus. It takes about 40 minutes to get up there too. But I um, mean, you're thousands of feet in the air. It's a lot of fun. Great hiking trails up there. My coworkers and I did a lot of great hiking. So definitely bring the hiking shoes and you know prepare for somewhat cold weather. Uh, you know you never know with the with the um, temperature in Switzerland, uh, it could be a little chilly. So be prepared for all of that. But there's a lot of great hiking trails up here at the top of uh, Mount Pilatus, all right up in here. You can hike all of this. It was a lot of fun. And then you'll get to go on this um, sort of this uh, sky dome to go back down the side of the mountain uh, as you make your way back into Lucerne. And so that's a great Mount Pilatus day trip that you'll have as well. So that's what I wanted to show you for Switzerland. Uh, the next destination is going to be Scotland. And uh, we have a great package called the Complete Scotland by Rail. And this is a great nine day itinerary. And uh, that is round trip out of Edinburgh. So you'll spend a total of four nights in Edinburgh, and then you'll take the rail up into Inverness for a three night stay, do the Isle of Skye day tour, and then you'll take the Jacobite steam train down into Glencoe for a night, and then you'll come back down into Edinburgh. So it's a phenomenal train ride. And then um, on top of that, we have the skip the line tours for the Edinburgh Castle. We have the Loch Ness cruise as well as the Isle of Skye day tour. So you can see some of that here uh, that you'll be doing as you're going all around the different parts of Scotland. And then of course we have here the Jacobite steam train, also called the Harry Potter train. And uh, you'll definitely see the beautiful countryside of Scotland while on board the steam train. Uh, once you board the train, you'll be given an interactive map that'll show you the complete itinerary exactly where you're gonna be from one minute to the next. Uh, so it's definitely an adventure. They have a lot of great activities that are all Harry Potter themed. Uh, for if you have family members who are into the Harry Potter series, this is definitely a milestone adventure to do. Now, the next destination I want to share with you is Spain and uh, the rain in Spain. It's a beautiful uh, countryside, of course. We have a lot of popular attractions to see. And the most popular package we carry is the Andalusian Explorer. And this is a nine day itinerary that'll provide two nights in Madrid, Cordoba, Granada, and Seville, all accessible by the Renfe rail system. And uh, so along this particular package, you're gonna have the skip the line walking tours of the Alhambra Palace, the General Life Gardens in Granada. You'll do a flamingo show in Cordoba, and you'll have an early access tour of the Seville Cathedral and the Alcazar, including the entrance tickets. And I have some photos of all of that here. In the top left, you're looking at the, uh, the General Life Gardens in Granada, the Sibilis Fountain in Madrid, very popular attraction. In the bottom left, you've got the Alcazar in Seville. And the bottom right, you've got the Garden of the Orange Trees at the Mesquita of Cordoba, as well as the Flamingo Show. Uh, so anyway, you'll see all these great attractions up close and personal while traveling throughout Spain. Now, the final destination I want to share with you is Germany, one of our top destinations. So, uh, you know, traveling and uh, taking the rails throughout Germany is every bit as fast as efficient as you would expect. But what you may not expect are the jaw dropping views of the many scenic routes that wind throughout the country. So think dense forests, snow covered mountains, dramatic castles and sparkling lakes. One such, uh, one such train ride is also the shortest in Germany at only about 55 minutes, the journey along the Rhine River from Koblenz over into Mainz. And that offers uh, riders a fairy tale castle and lush vineyards along the path. You'll see the beautiful river's slopes, and it's just a taste of the type of memorable train journey Germany is known for. And of course, we have a great package uh, that is extremely popular right now, our Grand Cologne, Munich, uh, Munich and Berlin. This is a great seven-day itinerary. And the journey begins with one night in Cologne, and uh, allow you to just to get into the country 
And then of course you'll rail down into Munich where we have a hop on hop off tour for you, uh, as well as some walking tours. So you can get that World War II history that you may be interested in. And then you'll rail all the way across country up into Berlin for a three night stay. And uh, there we have walking tours as well as a hop on hop off tour. So a lot of great attractions uh, to check out. But uh, Germany is one of our better destinations. We have a lot of different packages. This is just the most popular one at the moment. But if you head over to railbookers.com, you can view everything we have to offer for any country that I've talked about today. And so for the, uh, the Grand Cologne, Munich and Berlin, just to give you those photos, you'll see it all when you're doing this particular package. So I just wanted to take you guys through all of that here, just to plant some ideas in your minds. I'm kind of curious what uh, you are all thinking right now and kind of curious of what destinations that you're currently interested in and when. Uh, so if there's a destination that you're considering, I'd be curious to know what that is. If you can go into the question box, uh, that would be great. Okay, uh, so it looks like uh, we're getting some, uh, some people interested in Spain, Portugal, okay, great, France, Ireland, Scotland, okay, so a little bit of everything here. Perfect, very good, even Canada, excellent, very good. And when are you guys, um, when do you plan on doing these travels? I know everything's sort of up in the air right now with the virus situation, but what's your timetable for a lot of this? And I'll give you a moment to answer. Mainly next year, it looks like 2021, 2022. Okay, very good. Yep, totally, totally understandable. Absolutely. Some people are looking to go in the fall of this year. Okay, very good. Excellent. Excellent. Okay, good. Well, I'm going to continue along here for a minute. But well, we do have some other destinations that I really didn't talk about today, the Canadian Rockies, Austria, Scandinavia. Uh, we have a great Norway package that's coming to mind, and uh, we have those all scheduled for other webinars. But you can head over to railbookers.com to check out that information. Okay. Uh, so right now we have some great savings that are going on, and uh, so... For example, our Scandinavia and Norway is on sale with a $300 discount per couple. Uh, Ireland is on sale at $400 off. And then of course for uh, Alaska by land, one of our top destinations here in North America. So if you go over to, um, if you head over to railbookers.com, you can check out more of that, or you can bring this information to your local travel agent. So again, this is our maximum flexibility offer for any new and existing reservations you have up until five days prior to departure to either cancel or fully rebook, and uh, there will be no penalty or cancellation fees as a result. And uh, just some uh, why travelers love rail bookers again. Well, we can book two years out. You have freedom and flexibility, and you can do the dream vacation that you want to do. I do have some customer testimonials here. I'm not gonna spend a whole lot of time on this as all of that is pretty straightforward, but I do wanna give you a glimpse of our website at railbookers.com. A lot of, a lot of miscellane miscellaneous information you can find there about train times, uh, how to navigate a train, a train station, a bunch of other stuff. So you can head over there at any time. We do have our 2020 brochures uh, for rail bookers. We have four different ones and uh, you can request those online. You could also get those digitally sent to you if you prefer. And then of course, as a major uh, rail tour operator, we brought home several travel awards last year. We moved over 45,000 passengers and uh, we've been known to provide a, a really good customer service all throughout the industry. Uh, so you are definitely in the right seats if you're considering rail travel. Now for some of our upcoming webinars, uh, tomorrow Amtrak Vacations, our sister company, will be doing uh, an Amtrak presentation of the private sleeping accommodations as well as our top destinations. Uh, so you may wanna check that out. If you head over to AmtrakVacations.com, you can sign up for that. It's absolutely free. On July 7th, uh, Rail Bookers will do one on Ireland and Scotland, a, a little bit more in depth by train. And then on the 8th, uh, Amtrak Vacations will be doing a cross-country 
uh, webinar. And then on the 14th, uh, we will be doing another Switzerland and Italy presentation. So if you want to learn more about us and just, you know, check out these great destinations, I would encourage you to join us. Now, don't forget about the helpful handouts, important uh, information for you, but I'm happy to answer your question now, uh, whatever you guys have for me. So give me a moment to uh, browse all of that. Okay, so Peter is with us today asking us, I love the idea of traveling throughout Scotland. I was wondering if, if, uh, if it's possible to do Scotland and Ireland. It certainly is. So we can definitely, uh, in fact, we have a package that does Ireland, is that right? Ireland, Scotland, the UK, and France, all in one, one itinerary. It's like a 12-day program, I think. Uh, you can check that out on our website. So absolutely, thank you. Let's see here. Frank is with us today asking a little bit more about Germany. I'd like to see more of uh, uh, other countries. Can you offer that? Absolutely. Uh, I just showed you a key package, but if you go to railbookers.com there, Frank, you can look up Germany and uh, you'll see everything that we offer and just give us a call uh, with any questions you have. Sylvia is with us today saying, uh, this is all good, but when the time is right, how do we make reservations? Great question. So two ways, you can give us a call directly at 888-829-3040. Speak to our travel consultants directly. They'll be happy to put it together for you and they'll book everything and so forth. Or you can take this information and go visit your local travel agent. Uh, travel agents are a great way to put together complicated vacations. They have decades of experience. They'll book your flights for you and you'll be well taken care of with a travel agent. Very good, okay, anything else? Okay, I've answered the questions that have come in so far. Well, the last point I would like to make today is uh, when you're ready, then so are we. Our trusted team is working from home like I would imagine the most of you are, and uh, we're here to make your next uh, dream vacation a reality. So reach out to us at any time, but uh, thank you for joining us tonight. I appreciate your time. I'm going to go ahead and end it there. Uh, but if we are, our call centers are open Monday through Friday from 9 a.m. to 7 p.m. Uh, Eastern Standard Time, and they're available for you. Uh, Elise is asking us, uh, can you talk more about the filtration system in the trains? Do windows open? Not usually. No, I uh, can't. Now, the windows don't open. That would be um, a safety precaution. Uh, but I do know, at least, that the trains are maintained daily. Uh, I didn't really get into the air filtration, but they are changing the filters as well as sanitizing everything basically on an hourly basis. So that's uh, that's what I know on that. Thanks for that question, though. All right, guys. Well, thank you very much for taking the time this evening, and uh, we hope to hear from you all very soon. Have a great night, and stay safe. God bless.